What's up, Calc Gang? All right, so let's explain this problem here. So uh, we got a book sliding across a rough surface at point A, and then it goes to point B. And it says, how much work has the, been done on the book between A and B? Okay, let's draw this. I like to draw. So we have a book, and we have this rough surface here. And this is A, and this is B. Okay. It's moving 3.21 meters a second here, and then it goes down to 1.25 a second there. Okay, now how much work has been done from A to B? Okay, so to do this, we're going to need a formula, right? So the formula for this is work is equal to one half mass velocity final squared minus velocity initial squared. Okay, so we got, we have velocity initial, we got velocity final. Do we have its mass? 1.5 kg. Yes. All right, so we can just plug all this in, really. So work is equal to uh, 1.5 divided by 2, and then it's going to be velocity final, so 1.25 squared minus uh, 3.21 squared. And we're going to get a negative number because it slows down, which means work has been... Or never mind, we're not going to get a negative number. We're going to get a negative number. What am I talking about? Uh, it's asking how much, you know, how much work has been done on the book. So we're asking how much work has been done on the book. We know that the, uh, the ground is doing work on the book, so the work on the book is going to be negative because it's not doing work, it's getting worked on. Uh, so negative 6.56 joules, right? That's how much work is done by the book. Okay, so part B asks, um, it goes to part C, right? And this is a flat surface, or I guess it's not, but it, it says um, if negative 0.75 joules of total work is done on the book from B to C, how fast is it moving at point C? Okay, so same thing, we can use the same formula again. So this time, it, we know that how much work is done from B to C, and it wants us to know its final velocity. So we can say that the work is negative 0 0.75, and that's equal to 1 half the mass again, 1 half, 1.5. So we're looking for final velocity, right? Uh, how fast is it moving at point C? So its final velocity is going to be whatever. And then we're subtracting it from its initial velocity, which we know here is 1.25. Okay, so then all we have to do is rearrange this equation so we can move this over to the other side. So it's going to be negative 1 because 1 half is 1.5 is 0 0.75. You divide that from both sides, you're going to get negative 1 is equal to velocity final squared minus 1.25 squared. Uh, so then you're just going to add this to the other side, negative 1 plus 1.25 squared. Take the square root of all of that, and that's equal to the velocity final, which is equal to, what is this equal to? 0 0.75 meters a second. I'm pretty sure I did that right. Uh, probably. I could calculate that right now. I should do that. Square root of negative 1 plus 1.25. Squared. Yep, okay. We're chilling. All right, so part C here, part C. What is part C asking for? I don't remember. Okay, never mind. So now it's saying, uh, go back to this situation. Oh my god, my knee hurts. Ow. Okay, whatever. Don't worry about that. Okay, I guess I'm growing old. I don't know. Okay, and then it says if, uh, uh, how fast would it be moving and see if a uh, total of an additional 1.75 work is done on it. So instead of work being negative, it's going to be 1 point, or 0 0.75 positive is equal to uh, 1.5 times 1 half, and then it's going to be velocity final squared again minus velocity initial squared, which is 1.25 squared. So we, then we can solve this again. So this is going to be 1, and then we're going to add 1.25 squared, take the square root of all that. It's velocity final. That's going to be equal to 1.60 meters a second this time. Yep. All right, so there's your answers. That's how you solve this problem. Uh, yeah, just you have to learn this formula. Or I erased it. Okay. But you know the formula is right now. Force is equal to 1 half mass uh, delta v squared. Important. Remember it. Okay, so that's how you do these problems. Good luck on your physics homework, guys.